Hello, wonderful audience. Thank you for choosing to spend your time with me. Welcome aboard as we set sail on a journey through Jeremy Butterfield. Jeremy Nicholas Butterfield, FBA, born 23 December 1954, is a philosopher at the University of Cambridge, noted particularly for his work on philosophical aspects of quantum theory, relativity theory, and classical mechanics. As we move forward, let's uncover the untold stories and fascinating intricacies of biography. Butterfield was educated at Trinity College, Cambridge, obtaining his FT. From the University of Cambridge in 1984, he was supervised by Hugh Miller and David Millamont. He was a lecturer in the philosophy faculty at Cambridge University and was later promoted to reader in 1997. In 1998, he became a senior research fellow at All Souls College at the University of Oxford. He returned to the University of Cambridge in his present position in 2006. He has held visiting positions at Princeton University, the University of Pittsburgh and the University of Sydney. Butterfield is a Fellow of the British Academy and a Senior Research Fellow of Trinity College, Cambridge. He is a past president of the British Society for the Philosophy of Science and of the Mind Association. He previously served on the governing board of the Philosophy of Science Association and on the Executive Committee of the British Philosophical Association. He co-founded the journal Studies in History and Philosophy of Modern Physics, and edited it until 2001. He serves on the editorial boards of several journals and book series. In this part of the video, we'll be delving deeper into research and analysing its key components. Butterfield's research centres around a variety of topics in the philosophy of physics and philosophy of science and he has also made contributions to the philosophy of language and logic, particularly with regard to the treatment of time and tense. In this regard, he has argued in several papers for a distanced theory of time, according to which the present is a merely subjective or indexical notion, on analogy with one's spatial location. In the philosophy of quantum theory, Butterfield has proposed several clarifications of the notions of locality operative in algebraic quantum field theories, especially stochastic Einstein locality, and has investigated which of these clarified versions of locality hold in those theories. He has also investigated the impact of the Bell inequalities in the light of Reichenbach's principle of the common cause, and has argued that the violation of these inequalities implies causation between the space-like separated wings of a Bell experiment. In addition, he has written on the quantum measurement problem, and the implications for it due to, and of it for, the philosophy and science of consciousness. He has also investigated the problems of localizability in relativistic quantum theories, in collaboration with Gordon Fleming. In the philosophy of space atom physics, Butterfield has argued for a resolution of Einstein's 1913 whole argument that preserves space atom substantivalism by utilizing David Lewis's theory of modal counterparts. More recently, he has appealed to tensor calculus and its use in much of contemporary physics to argue against the popular view propounded by David Lewis that the world may be described in terms of local matters of fact, that is in terms of chiefly intrinsic properties instantiated at spatial or spatiotemporal points. In the philosophy of classical mechanics, Butterfield has investigated the elimination of descriptively redundant formal elements through symplectic reduction and the interdependence between conserved quantities and conservation laws. He has also made several appeals in his work on classical mechanics and other physical theories to the importance of an appreciation of modality in physics. In several papers, Butterfield has collaborated with the theoretical physicist Chris Isham. These address the role of Topo's theory in understanding quantum theory, in particular the Cock and Specker theorem and the status of time in the various quantum gravity research programs. In recent years, Butterfield has argued for a reconciliation of the idea of emergence, the idea that novel structures, not described by fundamental theories, appear at a certain level of complexity with the possibility of interthuritic reduction. He has illustrated the reconciliation in various areas such as phase transitions, renormalization, and gauge theories. 
He has also worked, often in collaboration with research students, on other topics, including identity and individuation of systems in quantum physics, idolities especially good gravity duality, e underdetermination, and scientific realism in modern cosmology. As we venture forward, let's take a closer look at publications and its impact on our understanding. Books Philosophy of Physics Handbook of the Philosophy of Science 2 Volume Set Ed. With John Emmon, North Holland, 2006. Quantum Entanglements, Selected Papers of Rob Clifton Ed. With Hans Halverson, Oxford University Press, 2004. Non-Locality and Modality Ed. With Thomas Plotchik, Kluwer Academic Publishing, 2002. The Arguments of Time Ed. Oxford University Press, 2000. From Physics to Philosophy Ed. With Constantine Paganis, Cambridge University Press, 1999. Space Setem Ed. With Mark Hogarth and Gordon Bellett, Dartmouth Publishing, 1996. Language, Mind and Logic Ed. Cambridge University Press, 1984. Research articles in journals conceptual aspects of good gravity duality with South. Daharo and D. Mason, forthcoming in Foundations of Physics. Comparing dualities and gauge symmetries with South. Daharo and North. Forthcoming in Studies in History and Philosophy of Modern Physics. On the relation between dualities and gauge symmetries with South. Daharo and North. Forthcoming in Philosophy of Science. Assessing the Montevideo Interpretation of Quantum Mechanics, Studies in History and Philosophy of Modern Physics, Year 2015. On Emergence in Gauge Theories at the T-Hooft Limit, with North. Alta European Journal for Philosophy of Science, 5, 2015. On Underdetermination in Cosmology, Studies in History and Philosophy of Modern Physics, 46, 2014. Reduction, Emergence and Renormalization, The Journal of Philosophy, 111, 2014. The Oxford Questions on Foundations of Quantum Physics, with A. Briggs and A. Zeilinger, Proceedings of the Royal Society London, A. 469, 20,130,299. Under Determination in Cosmology, An Invitation. Aristotelian Society Supplementary Volume, 86, 2012. On Time Chesdummit, European Journal of Analytic Philosophy, 8, 2012. On Kinds of Indiscernibility in Logic and Metaphysics with A. Colton, British Journal for the Philosophy of Science, 63, 2012. Symmetries and Par Particles as a Motivation for Structuralism with A. Colton. British Journal for the Philosophy of Science, 63, 2012. Emergence, Reduction and Supervenience, A Varied Landscape, Foundations of Physics, 41, 2011. Less is Different, Emergence and Reduction Reconciled, Foundations of Physics, 41, 2011. Laws, Causation and Dynamics at Different Levels, Interface Focus Royal Society London, 1, 2011. Stochastic Einstein Locality Revisited, British Journal for the Philosophy of Science 58, 2007. Reconsidering Relativistic Causality, International Studies in the Philosophy of Science 21, 2007. Against Pointillism About Mechanics, British Journal for the Philosophy of Science 57, 2006. The Rotating Discs Argument Defeated. British Journal for the Philosophy of Science 57, 2006. On the Persistence of Particles, Foundations of Physics 35, 2005. David Lewis meets Hamilton and Jacobi, Philosophy of Science 71, 2004. The End of Time. British Journal for the Philosophy of Science 53, 2002. The State of Physics, Halfway Through the Woods. The Journal of Soft Computing 5, 2001. A Topo's Perspective on the Cochrane-Specker Theorem 4, Interval Valuations with Celsius. J. Isham, 
International Journal on Theoretical Physics 41, 2002, 141. Some possible roles for Topos theory in quantum theory and quantum gravity with Celsius. Isham, Foundations of Physics 30, 2000. A Topos perspective on the Cock and Specker theorem 3, von Neumann algebras as the base category with J. Hamilton and Celsius. J. Isham, International Journal on Theoretical Physics 39, 2000. A Topos perspective on the Cock and Specker theorem 2, conceptual aspects and classical analogues with Celsius. J. Isham, International Journal on Theoretical Physics 38, 1999. A Topos perspective on the Cock and Specker theorem I, quantum states as generalized valuations with Celsius. J. Isham, International Journal on Theoretical Physics 11, 1998. Wither the Minds, British Journal for the Philosophy of Science 47, 1996. Is algebraic Lorentz covariant quantum field theory stochastic Einstein local? With Fahrenheit. A. Muller, Philosophy of Science 61, 1994. Interpretation and Identity in Quantum Theory, Studies in History and Philosophy of Science 24, 1993. Forms of Probabilistic Ascriptions, International Journal of Theoretical Physics 32, 1993. Parameter Dependence and Outcome Dependence in Dynamical Models for State Vector Reduction with Celsius. Chirardi, R. Grassi and G. Fleming, Foundations of Physics 23, 1993. An improved version is in International Journal of Theoretical Physics 32, 1993. A Golois Connection Approach to Superposition and Inaccessibility with J. Melia, International Journal of Theoretical Physics 32, 1993. David Lewis meets John Bell, Philosophy of Science 59, 1992. Bell's Theorem, What It Takes, British Journal for the Philosophy of Science 43, 1992. Probabilities and Conditionals, Distinctions by Example, Proceedings of the Aristotelian Society New Series 92, 1992. Generalization of the Greenberger Horn der Algebraic Proof of Non Equality with R. Kelvin. Clifton and M. L. G. Redhead, Foundations of Physics 21, 1991. A second look at a recent algebraic proof of non equality with R. Kelvin. Clifton, M. L. G. Redhead, Foundations of Physics Letters 4, 1991. Non-local influences and possible world should step in the wrong direction with R. Kelvin. Clifton, M. L. G. Redhead, British Journal for the Philosophy of Science 41, 1990. Causal Independence in EPR Arguments, PSA, Proceedings of the Biennial Meeting of the Philosophy of Science Association 1990. The Whole Truth, British Journal for the Philosophy of Science 40, 1989. Albert Einstein meets David Lewis, PSA, Proceedings of the Biennial Meeting of the Philosophy of Science Association, 1988. Determinism and Substantivalism, International Studies in Philosophy of Science 2, 1988. Do the Bell inequalities require the existence of joint probability distributions? With G. Svetlitny. M. L. G. Reheed and H. Brown, Philosophy of Science 55, 1988. Substantivalism and Determinism, International Studies in the Philosophy of Science 2, 1987. Predicate Modifiers Intense Logic with Celsius. Sterling, Logic et Analyse 117, 1987. Determinism and Probability in Physics with P. Clarke, Proceedings of the Aristotelian Society Supplementary Volumes 61, 1987. Probability and Disturbing Measurement, Proceedings of the Aristotelian Society Supplementary Volumes 61, 1987. Spatial and Temporal Parts, The Philosophical Quarterly 35, 1985. Relationism and Possible Worlds, British Journal for the Philosophy of Science 35, 1984. On Spurious Idiocentricity, Analysis 44, 1984. Seeing the Present, Mind 270.
1984. Dummett on Temporal Operators, The Philosophical Quarterly 34, 1984. Prior's Conception of Time, Proceedings of the Aristotelian Society New Series 84, 1984. Research Contributions in Books Scientific Realism and Primordial Cosmology with Fahrenheit. Azar, abridged version forthcoming in the Routledge Handbook of Scientific Realism, 2017, edition J. Satsi, Routledge, Tupsak Sibilgabs, to Pafilsi Archipadu. Renormalization for Philosophers in Metaphysics in Contemporary Physics, 2015, ids. T. Bega and Celsius. Wutrich Poznan Studies in Philosophy of Sciences and Humanities, Volume 104, Rodopi. The Emergence of Integrability in Gauge Theories with North. Outer, in Epsa Perspectives and Foundational Problems in Philosophy of Science, 2014, ids of. Karakostas and Didiks, the European Philosophy of Science Association Proceedings to Springer. On Time in Quantum Physics, in the Blackwell Companion to the Philosophy of Time, 2013, ids. A. Bodon and H. Dyke, Wiley Blackwell. Emergence and Reduction Combined in Phase Transitions with North. Outer, in Proceedings of Frontiers of Fundamental Physics 11 American Institute of Physics. 2012, ids. J. Kamiha, Celsius. Barbara Co. and D. Vey, American Institute of Physics Conference Proceedings 1446. Against Pointillism, a call to arms, in explanation, prediction and confirmation, 2011, ids. D. Deeks, W. Gonzalez, South. Hartman, Teobel and M. Weber, Springer. On Symmetry and Conserved Quantities in Classical Mechanics, in Physical Theory and Its Interpretation, 2006, Hids. W. Demopoulos and I. Pitofsky, Springer. On Symplectic Reduction in Classical Mechanics, in the Handbook of Philosophy of Physics, 2006, Hids. J. Butterfield and J. Emman, North Holland. Against Pointillism About Geometry, in Time and History, Proceedings of 28th International Wittgenstein Conference, 2006, Hids. Fahrenheit. Stadler and M. Stoltzner, Ontus Verlag. On Hamilton Jacobi Theory as a Classical Root of Theory, in Quo Vadis Quantum Mechanics, 2004, Hids. A. Elitzer, South. Dolov and North. Kalender, Springer. Some Aspects of Modality in Analytical Mechanics, in Formal Teleology and Cosolitate in De Physic, 2004, ids. P. Weingartner and M. Stoltzner, Mentis. Topos Theory as a Framework for Partial Truth, in the Scope of Logic, Methodology and Philosophy of Science, Volume 1, 2002, ids. He Gardenfers, Kelvin. Kaijinia Plotchek and J. Wolinsky, Kluwer Academic Publishing. Some Worlds of Quantum Theory, in Quantum Mechanics Scientific Perspectives on Divine Action, Volume 5, ids. R.J. Russell, P. Clayton, Kelvin, Witter McNelly, and J. Polkinghorn, Vatican Observatory Publications. Space Setum and the Philosophical Challenge of Quantum Gravity in Physics Meets Philosophy at the Planck Scale, 2001, ids. Celsius, Kalenda and North, Huggett, Cambridge University Press. On the Emergence of Time in Quantum Gravity with Celsius. Isham, in the Arguments of Time, 1991, edition J. Butterfield, Oxford University Press. Strange Positions with G. Fleming, in From Physics to Philosophy, 1999, ids. J. Butterfield and Celsius. Paganis, Cambridge University Press. Quantum Curiosities of Psychophysics in Consciousness and Human Identity, 1998, edition J. Cornwell, Oxford University Press. Vacuum Correlations and Outcome Dependence in Algebraic Quantum Field Theory, in Fundamental Problems in Quantum Theory, Annals of the New York Academy of Sciences, 1995, ids. D. Greenberger and Zeilinger, Proceedings of a Conference in Honor of John Wheeler, Outcome Dependence and Stochastic Einstein Nonicality, 
in Logic and Philosophy of Science in Uppsala Selected Papers from the 9th International Congress of Logic Methodology and Philosophy of Science, 1994. Ids. Deeperitz and de Westerdahl, Kluwer. Is there superliminal causation in quantum theory? With G. Fleming, in Bell's Theorem and the Foundations of Modern Physics, 1992. Ids. A. van der Moe, Fahrenheit. Celery and Shitarotsi, World Scientific. A space atom approach to the Bell inequality in philosophical consequences of quantum theory, 1989. Ids. J. Cushing and East. Work Mullen, University of Notre Dame Press. Content and Context in Language, Mind and Logic, 1986. Edition J. Butterfield, Cambridge University Press. Indexicals and Tents. In Exercises in Analysis, 1984, edition I Hacking, Cambridge University Press. Measurement, Unitarity and Laws in Space, Time and Causality, 1982, edition R. Swinburne, Rydal. Thanks for being a part of this amazing journey. I can't wait to bring you more exciting content.